Hey guys, welcome to the training tonight. And I have been um, pretty much offline for a while. And, uh, and so um, one of the reasons is moving. And the other reason is uh, moving. And the final reason is moving. So it's like we got in here and I was doing really good. And then I don't know what happened. It was like a snowball effect. And I had all this stuff to do. And I didn't see it coming. So anyway, we're moved in. I've got like one more project left other than a huge garage sale, which hopefully I can uh, do that in between uh, trainings. But I want to be more consistent with training, especially the how-to, the technical things that you guys might know or may not know. Uh, if you do know or if you have anything to add to it, I would love for you to put in comments any good things that you've got to share. Uh, but uh, tonight, I want to talk about three very useful tools that, again, you may already know about, but I didn't know about them until I really started digging around and actually taking the time to take advantage of the analytics. So I'm going to take you into one of my clients' Facebook page, and I'm going to show you these very simple tools to help you in creating content and knowing when to post it and uh, which ones are the most engaging. So let me switch over here to my screen and then let me get over here to the uh, page. Okay, so this is an insurance agency and uh, they're local. Uh, all of the, um, the staff here are just great. And uh, what I do is post scheduling and I'll just show you really quick um, obviously we want our post to be in line with the brand and so the owner has a really good sense of humor and so usually what I'll do is I'll go in here and click create and I will you know put something funny for Friday or uh, a customer picture or a review or a useful article or something like that here and then if you go down to share now and schedule I will then select the date and time so that's just a real quick uh, tidbit there and I usually do it um, for a month, month's worth, and uh, it just, it's so much easier. So, but that's not what I want to show you today. Oh, I need to do this story over here. Hmm, better get that done. I want to click on Insights. So here at the top, if you go into Insights, it's going to take you to this page. Now, uh, we've got, you know, our stats here, which, um, you know, it's a little bit disappointing as I look at these, but it can be uh, common during this time of year. But I want to scroll down to here, and this will show us five most recent posts. And you'll see, you know, the reach and organic and all of that. Uh, but if you click see all posts, this is what I want to get to. Okay. So uh, before I show you this part up here, I want to go down and show you here. So these are all the posts that have been published. Now, we've got our normal tips, et cetera, for people. Uh, we've got our, you know, Fridays and our funny memes and, you know, all of that stuff. And you can see you know, the engagement, the reach. It's not that great. But look at this. This right here is really not bad for the amount of time we've really been devoting to their Facebook page. And if I click on this, you know, it'll show me which one it was. And guys, it is video, 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 video. I cannot say that enough. And notice how it's uh, showing us the 10 second video views, the three second video views. Um, the average watch time was about 10 seconds. Um, which I want to get that up longer. Um, now, what I found interesting is your videos get shown organically to more people and they're at least three minutes long. So we may need to uh, look into lengthening these, but you know, basically, um, uh, you know, watching long videos about insurance is a little bit boring. It tells us how many people was reached. Uh, the, again, the views, the reactions, comments, and shares, and we've got like 20 shares, which is great. 
uh, or likes on 20 shares, loves on three of them, et cetera, et cetera. So this is really cool. And then 59 post clicks, meaning they wanted to um, actually listen to the video. So we just started doing those two weeks ago and we have our new one out today and I don't know why it's not doing as well. So it may have been a timing issue. And then the other one, uh, I have to tell you, anytime you can get uh, staff pictures, uh, it's very uh, you know good to do because people want to see the people they're working with. So this was another one that got a lot of engagement. And so if you click see more again and you go on down, this one uh, was kind of surprising. We got 1.2K organic reach and all it was was a graphic that I created announcing just for you hours. And I think one reason it got such a great uh, feedback, because this was really early in our Facebook, um, basically a lot of businesses hire me to start managing their Facebook page because quite frankly they don't have time and they don't necessarily know what to do or they don't want to hunt around for content. And uh, so I'll do that. And um, the bottom line is to get them more business in the building. And so this one, I created a pretty graphic in Canva and put just for you hours starting tomorrow. And it got a lot of organic reach, but also some really good engagement. And then this is like on back when we really just got started. And so we were, you know, once if you've allowed your Facebook page to go dormant, then what will happen is it will take some time for it to start building up. So you can see that as we started going and really trying to figure out what works, uh, we started getting some better uh, reaches and engagements. And we're just going to keep doing it. And once we start our Facebook ads, hopefully that will add to it. But the main thing is you want to make, you know, money as a business. And so, you know, Facebook may be secondary to that. You may have other modes of advertising that gets you more uh, business, but you don't want to let your Facebook page go dormant. Now, this right here I'm going to get to in a second, but I just want to show you again, if you click post types, it shows you what type of video gets the most average reach and engagement video. Uh, people are watching more video on Facebook than they are YouTube now. Uh, photo and then shared videos, meaning um, like our Friday funnies and things like that. And then I want to go back here before I um, show you the top post. So that's the first thing that really helps me is, you know, seeing what's working, what's okay, and what's probably not working. And then also, um, you know, really looking at those numbers by clicking on the posts that are doing really well. Now, you will not see this unless you click see more posts like we already have done, okay? So remember, when you first go into your insights, it doesn't have this, it just has the last five posts and you have to click see more to get this. Now, this is data from uh, a one week period and take note that it's in the Pacif Pacific time zone because you'll need to adjust that for your time zone. And what it does is it shows when your fans are online. So we see, because we don't have that many likes yet, and we've got some plans to increase that, we see that most of our fans are on at 9 p.m. our time, because we're Mountain Standard, or 8 p.m., um, um, I'm sorry, um, Pacific. Okay, but... Uh, is at for each day. So if you put your mouse over Sunday, it shows you again the peak is at 8. Uh, again, it's at 8. On Mondays, Tuesdays, it's even higher. Wednesday, uh, Thursday, which notice Tuesdays and Thursdays are really good, but I was surprised that Fridays also have really good in, uh, you know, amount of fans that are on. Again, it seems to be about 8 p.m. And then Saturdays, again, it's 8 p.m. Pacific or uh, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard. So that tells me that I need to schedule their posts at 8 p.m. So it probably would have been a good idea to reschedule this tip at 8. But I didn't start collecting this data until I had about a month or two in on actually getting posts. 
so I had a good amount of data to go by. So that's the tool, that's the second tool, and then of course, um, you know, th this tool right here of looking and seeing which posts are the best. Then the final thing is top posts from pages you watch. If you haven't done this already, I highly suggest it. So one of uh, our favorites is a guy named Mike Morris, and he's a State Farm insurance guy. And I added him because for being local and, you know, I mean, his, his first of all, his sense of humor is amazing. But the second thing is that he is really good at getting engagement. So what it'll do is it will show me the top engagement and uh, published posts this week. And so it appears there's one that's gotten 62. So I'm going to click on it. And let's see if it's going to bring up that post. Well, tell the truth. Oh, I bet it's this. Here we go. Tell the truth. Can you back a trailer? Okay, he got 42 comments. Okay. Um, and then the other one was this one. I don't always drive my wife's car, but when I do, which that was stinking funny. So you can see that, again, humor, guys, is really, really great. So to add pages, you just click Add Pages, and it will give you a list. What I do is I pick the ones with the most likes or the ones that I've already been a fan of their pages. And I add them. So, you know, 164, 266, 277. It looks like the 200 pluses are okay. Uh, I'll grab those because, again, who thinks uh, insurance is exciting? And it's saying that we need one more. Um, so I already have Todd Farrell. That's weird. I wonder why. Yeah, I've already got him. But they like you to have at least five pages. And so... Gosh, I don't know since it's so small. I think I already have Nick, too. Yeah, that's probably why I don't have five, because I didn't see any more that I really cared to watch. So I'm not going to add anybody tonight. Okay, so those are the three tools. So when your fans are online is a really good report. The post types that are doing the best. And then top posts from pages you watch. So... On those top posts, you can share them to your page and get some great engagement going on that as well. Or you can find some funny stuff like that and post it on yours. But the main thing is find out when your fans are online because you'll have a greater chance of getting in front of them and also getting them engaged. Again, if you've not been uh, taking care of your Facebook page, it can take some time to get that engagement and everything built back up because it's been dead. And remember, Facebook is all about serving Facebook users what they want to see. So if they have not been engaging or liking or anything like that on your Facebook page, then what's going to happen is it's going to take some time to get that built up because they're not seeing your posts. So just know that it may take a little bit and humor is really good, uh, faces, your face, your staff's faces, uh, and anything with videos, anything that's educational, good tips, etc. cetera. Uh, I probably will do some training on the videos in the future because I think it's important, especially if you're in the type of business where it's like boring to make sure that you have something uh, in your videos that breaks it up and that makes it enjoyable. So anyway, I hope this helps you. Again, some of you may have known about this, but I've really started looking at numbers, which I probably should have a long time ago, but um, using it as a helpful tool. And don't take it personal if you're not getting the engagement or the likes that you want. Your value as a business person is not in the social media engagement and reach. Uh, if you're making money, and you're actually making money versus spending all of your time, you know, on social media, good for you. You're out there actually making money. 
And uh, that was kind of part of it too, is not just moving, but I've got these new clients that I've been having to meet and talk with and they've been consuming my time. In fact, I've just built a, a new website for a client where I was like, okay, make money or get on Facebook and money won out. So anyway, I hope this helps you and I quite frankly don't know when I will be back here, but I am doing a training tomorrow, the Lunch and Learn, which is the nitty gritty of Facebook ads part two, and I will get that video and those worksheets to you when it's ready. Hope you have a good night.